Okay, here we are with 5.1, simplifying a ratio of factored polynomials, factors with exponents. So we've got to simplify this fraction, and we can simplify the numbers as we usually do. So I can divide both of these by 4, giving me a 3 and a 5. I have a w minus 7 factor here, and a w minus 7 factor here. And so then I have a square here and a fifth power, and you can only simplify by the lowest exponent. So if I take the square out, those would all be gone. And if I take the square out of here, I'm still going to be left with the power of 3. Here I have a 3w plus 2 factor and a 3w plus 2 factor, but this exponent is an invisible one. And you can only go with the lowest exponent, so I can only take out 3w plus 2 to the power 1. If I take out a power 1, that leaves me still with the power 1. So what all do I have left over? I have the 3, this is completely gone, and then I have 3w plus 2 to the 1 power. But you don't to write the 1 power when it's just 1. Then at the bottom I have this 5. This factor is completely gone, but I do have a w minus 7, but now it is to the third power. And so this is the simplified answer to that problem. And so all of the problems you're going to work in this way. You're going to reduce the numbers just like you normally reduce a fraction. And then when you have common factors, you're going to reduce them by the lowest exponent, okay? And so the one with the lowest exponent will completely wipe out. And then the one with the higher exponent, you have to decrease it by the number of power that you, that you uh, were reducing by. So for instance, this one, the lowest power was 1, so I was reducing by 1 um, power. So 1 power would mean this whole thing's going to go away. But take away one power from this higher exponent and you still have one left, okay? So that same concept applies for all of those problems within this topic.